In this video we're going to look at basic contact creation and what happens when we make these contacts employees. So far we have three contacts in our new company and the same three users with login details. The new contacts are not yet recognized as employees by OneBiz app as there may be instances where your accountant for example is a member of your company but not a member of staff. To make them staff, click on Payroll, Employees, then drag the new contacts into the window on the right. They are now employees of the company. Select an employee type from the drop-down. Finally, for now, select their start date and end date if on a fixed term contract. We're now going to look at another way of creating an employee from within the contact window. Open the window of your company, then click on New Contact. This creates a new contact that's already attached to the company because you created it from within the company screen. Enter the details as before. For this employee, we're going to click on Employee Information. This opens up a window asking you to make this contact an employee of your company. Click on the box and you can enter additional information like start date etc. Now, if we go into HR and have a look at our employees, the person's already there. So now we have four members of staff, three of which have log on, username and passwords. Now go into settings and look at the system users. We are now going to try and add a fourth. Remember, you can have three free logins, but have to subscribe in excess of that. This warning message tells us that we have reached our free subscription limit. To add the user and stay within our limits, we must deactivate one of the current users. Change one of the other users from active to inactive. Now try and drag the employee into the user screen. You are now prompted to create a username and password as you are still within your limit. So you can see you can have employees who can't log on and also non-employees like your accountant who can. Now we're going to convert the free account into a paid account because we want our fourth user to be able to log in. Go into My Company and click on the Convert Paid Free button. You're asked to acknowledge that you have the permission to do this and click OK. Now you can change the number of paid users from 3 to 4, or any number in fact. Strictly speaking, if you have a paid account, you don't need to change this number as it will be updated automatically depending on how many logon accounts you have. Go back into Users and change the inactive user to Active. The system won't object this time as you're a paying subscriber. To convert back to a free account, make sure first that you only have three active users. Here we have four to demonstrate what happens. Click on the Convert button and you're warned that you have four active user accounts. So simply go back into the user account and make one inactive. You have now converted your paid account back into a free account. The next video in the series will look at creating work schedules for your staff.